Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is 7 eighths as a percent? And this is without a calculator. Feel free to pause the video here and give this a try on your own if you'd like. Otherwise, let's jump right into it. Now when we convert a fraction to a percent, we can start by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. This will give us a decimal. Once we have that decimal, we convert it to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So we need to start by converting this to a decimal by dividing. So for 7 eighths, we can set this up as 7 divided by 8. Then we go through the division process. So how many whole groups of 8 in 7? How many 8s in 7? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a 0 in order to work through this. Once we have the decimal and the 0, bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And now we can think of this as 70 divided by 8. So how many whole groups of 8 in 70? How many 8s in 70? Well, 8. That gets us to 64. So we put 8 up here above the 0. And to make sure it goes above the 0, since we used that 0 and thought of this as 70. And this will line us up correctly. And I'm actually going to extend the division bar here as well. Now we multiply. 8 times 8, 64, subtract, 70 minus 64 is 6. So we don't have that clean cut 0 there at the bottom, so we can continue on by using another 0 that we can bring down. And now we have 60. 60 divided by 8, that's going to be 7. That gets us to 56. So we put 7 up top there. Now we multiply 7 times 8, 56, subtract 60 minus 56 is 4. So we don't have that clean cut 0 there at the bottom yet. So let's use another 0 that we can bring down in order to continue on. And now we have 40 divided by 8, which is 5. So we put 5 up top here, multiply 5 times 8 is 40 subtract 40 minus 40 is zero. So we have that clean cut zero there at the bottom and nothing else to bring down within our problem, so we are done. 7 eighths equals 875 thousandths. Now we need to convert this decimal to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And again, we can multiply this by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the right. So let's rewrite our decimal off to the side here and move the decimal once, twice to the right. This gives us 87.5%. Our answer is C. So there you have it. There's 7 eighths as a percent. If you need more examples and help with fractions and percents, Check the description for more videos. So whether you are studying for a test, learning this in class, maybe you were just looking for a problem to solve. Whatever the case may be, I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.